Hello everyone, my name is Luz Goose and today I'm here to tell you about top game changer features upcoming in FreeCAD 1.1 and when can we finally get our hands on a stable release. Starting off with top features, rated by none other than me and uh, how cool they are. And starting off with create simulation tool was added making it possible to add motions to joints and create animations. This was a problem for one of my latest uh, creations when I created right angle gearless drive and I just couldn't make an animation. It was only possible in 1.1. Now there will be an option like a small windmill. You can, you know, create animations. That will be perfect. Number two, finite element analysis results now support animations. Look at them go flopping all over the place. I'm a visual guy and I believe that most people are as well. So I'd love to see animations, make some animations. You know, the world needs more things that are active because, you know, we're real human beings and we love action. So I think this will be a great feature. Number three, three point lighting was added to improve rendering of 3D models. Definitely far fetched from realistic scenes like in Blender or V-Ray, whatever else. It's still a nice change and you know we'll have small bits of improvement over time number four the transform tool was overhauled and now allows for precise inputs besides dragging in 3d view it is possible to align the interactive dragger to any element in the document and to transform the objective in local uvv coordinate system of the dragger or in the global document coordinate system generally it will just be easier to organize things around Moving on to number five, intersection tool was added, making it possible to create external geometry based on the selected reference geometry and the intersection of the sketch plane. This is quite great because a lot of the times I was dealing, for example, with a cylinder and the cylinder might only have like one edge that is actually that can be used as external geometry. But well, in many cases, that's not enough. And sometimes it's a half piece cut and there's some weird stuff happening. We need that geometry. Now we'll be able to cut it and add some stuff next to it. So that is a very nice thing. There are still so, so many features that I haven't really talked about in this video because it will be like an hour long, but I will drop the link to this document in the description so you can check it out yourself and find the feature that you're looking most forward to. And about that, drop it in the comments. What are you looking forward in FreeCAD 1.1? And uh, honestly, I'd really like to explore like everything that Free has has to offer, but it will take a long time and I could start with a couple of things exactly like I did in Blender and that's how I mastered it. So I really want to get into finite element analysis. I like bending things, seeing how magnetic stuff works. I have never really dabbled into this stuff, but I'd love to. So I'll try that. And uh, if you're interested in that, drop a subscribe. I'll share you some tutorials. Anyways, I believe that you too will definitely find something for yourself and maybe something new to try and learn too. So, better release. When are we getting all of this goodness? Well, the short answer, probably in 2025. Hopefully, most likely. We had a little bit of information shared with us and that would be 15th of September would be the feature freeze which has already passed. There will be no new features in 1.1, just the ones that are already uh, in there. 30th September already passed, which was string freeze. The main release date has been set to 15th October, but that is not a concrete date because, well, you gotta fix bugs. And the team is working very hard actually to solve everything that needs to be done. So there are no blockers. And currently they're all about 70% of the way there. And we could be seeing this definitely by the end of the year. Maybe on Christmas as a small present for us. Oh, that would be great. Personally, I can't wait for the release and I will be downloading it the minute I know it's live. And I want to ask you, what would be your first project in the FreeCAD 1.1? And uh, yeah, let's start a discussion, post your ideas, your concerns or whatever you want to do in FreeCAD and uh, maybe as well, like, what is your current software? Is it uh, Maya, Katia, SolidWorks? If FreeCAD isn't currently your software of choice, then what features are you missing? Drop them in the comments, I'll start a discussion and see where it goes. If you support open source projects like FreeCAD and are into fighting multi-billion corporations, then 
Come and join the hype train to success. You can contribute by using FreeCAD, asking and answering questions in forums, spreading the word around, writing new code, sharing tutorials, and donating. I don't want to show off, but I also donated a little bit because paying a thousand for licenses just doesn't sit right with me and I'd much rather see a project where so much collaboration from the community comes together and I think it's just much nicer. So yeah, in conclusion, I feel like FreeCAD is in a similar position like Blender was when it switched from 2.79 to 2.8. It saw a massive increase in the user base because the UI got cleaner, some features were added that were missing from like really core structure of the whole program. And I just feel like, yeah, FreeCAD is an amazing place for growth. The data doesn't lie. So let's get this bread and continue making this world epic one project at a time. Ciao.